Well, hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back, welcome back. So I thought it was time to maybe work in the second half of this itty bitty journal, or maybe fill in some of the front. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing today. Um, if, if you tuned in the other day, you saw we did the first half. We just went in and added some things, but they're not like finished pages necessarily. So, uh, but first things first, I want to give shout outs to my new patrons. You guys are awesome. So thank you to Karen in Missouri, Helen in Michigan. Thank you, Helen. Britt in Florida. Um, Lynn A. We have two Lynn's now. So Lynn A, thank you so much. Renee in Florida, thank you. Marie, thank you so much for becoming a patron. And then Lynn B. So we have Lynn A and Lynn B. I'm just using their last initial of their, or the first initial of their last name. And then last but not least today, we have Trish. Th Trish, thank you so much. Trish in Oregon. Um, thank you for becoming patrons. Um, I'm so excited about that whole thing, but... I won't go into it too much right now. So I wanna get started on this and actually do something, although I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, let's see, I am my brain is so frazzled, you guys. Uh, let me grab some, huh, well, I was gonna grab some gesso, but you know what? I can't do that. I can, but I'll show you what I've got for gesso. Tight. <laughs> I'm like on the other side of the art room right now. This is my gesso and I have not opened it yet. It's huge, right? So I gotta do that whole thing where you, well, ooh, I just heard the seal break on it. Let's see, maybe, anyway, I need to get it a, a smaller container. Oh, there we go. It's open now. So I guess I'll be getting a smaller container of that later. Let me just put a little bit in this paint palette and then I'll have it available for this session. It was open and it wasn't difficult, so here we go. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? It's just so much cheaper to buy it this way, so. And I have this huge painting in my studio that I want to paint over. And so um, I figure I'll probably go through quite a bit of gesso with that. So I'm gonna take this green down. I'm not a fan of this bright green, really. I wanna take it down just a notch. Um, yeah, I did that big painting like Oh, I want to say three years ago now, and it's funny how much my style has changed since then. Um, and and I don't even really see her anymore um, when I come into the studio, which is a little bit sad. Uh, but, you know, when something just becomes part of the background because you see it every day. It's kind of how I feel about that painting, and... Um, but when I think about it, I'm like, you know, I feel like she served her purpose and um, I'm ready for a new message and a new face on there. Uh, this one that I have and right now says, take up all the space you need, which was a really good message for me at the time. I needed that reinforcement, but um, I don't really have a problem taking up space anymore, so. I'm, I'm ready to have a new mantra there. Apparently that one worked because I'm not struggling with it. So I'm inadvertently gluing my pages together. Very good. That's kind of cool though. It pulled a little bit of the paint over. I don't know if you can see that. Um, anyway, how are you guys? I would just come here and hang out with you guys every day if I could. I love, 
I love just being here with you guys and um, I love the feedback after I post a video. Really enjoy just hanging out. I, oh, that's what I was gonna do. I, um, I have this really old, uh, what are they called, iPad. It was, it was the point of sale system in the coffee shop that I used to own in Washington. That's a whole other story. But um, it, ha it wasn't even charged up. And I, I was wondering if, if I charged it up, if it's able to even play YouTube right now because it's so old, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna try it. Cause if it does, I think I can do, I think I can set up to do a live and then um, I can see your questions. So I can have my phone here recording me or playing, but I can have my iPad in front of me so I could see comments and we could like chat a little, you know, which I think would be awesome. I watch uh, Paper Terrace sometimes on YouTube and she does a lot of lives. Well, that just always seems like fun. I usually don't catch her live. I usually watch her later, but yeah. Seems like it would be a good time. So remember I took that purple down in the front. I'm gonna do that in the back too. I don't know if I'm gonna put a different color there or just take it down a notch. I'm finding, I mean, I love color. Like, I love this. This combo right here is so pleasing to me. But I am also feel like I'm gravitating more towards the vintage colors. So, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I really struggle to combine the two, um, the colors and then the vintage look to things. But uh, I'm willing to keep exploring it because I love it so much. I love both and I don't want to keep them in separate worlds, I want them to be together. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, but I would love to know your thoughts on that. If you have any thoughts on that. Okay, so we got some gesso down there. That's that's good. I think I'm happy with that. Maybe do a little bit more here. And I still have a bit of gesso in my in my paint palette here, so. Oh, where I wanna put that. Um, let's see. Well, I have another journal here and I could just put some on a page for fun. To kinda take a background down a little bit. I am not about to waste my gesso ever. <laughs> this is my Say What journal. It's full of, well, it's not full. It's not full at all. It's barely, barely touched, but um, I do want to do some more in it. So maybe that'll be another <laughs> craft and chat working in here. I just need to type up a word and a definition. I have some saved. I have a whole Pinterest board of words that are unique, little known words that mean things that I didn't know. So those go in this journal and I think it'll be so fun when it's full. But I'm definitely leaning towards the vintage look in this journal. Um, so so these, some of these pages will definitely get toned down. So there, I used up my gesso, let that dry, move that out of the way. What do we wanna do now? Everything's drying, try not to smush it together too much so that it can breathe and dry. I grabbed um, 
So I sell these itty bitty ephemera kits on, on Etsy. I think there's only eight for the next coming upcoming shop update, but these little plastic cases, um, I thought, well, I should have an itty bitty ephemera kit, but I didn't want to just fill it like I do for other people. I just figured I would keep it on my desk and when something spoke to me, then I would um, throw it in there. So that being said, I had to go searching for it when uh, I was getting ready to do this video, but I found it. I just think this would be cute on this little flippy page. Um, maybe I want a little texture behind it. I believe this is a little piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. And I have to tell you guys, I'm pretty sure he's not watching so I can safely tell you what a dork I am. <laughs> he started following me on Instagram the other day and I about peed myself. I was so giddy. <laughs> and if by some chance you are watching, Tim, I apologize. I'm a dork and that's just who I am. So, but anyway, that was pretty cool and I feel honored. So, yeah. So we'll use our Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to put on our Tim Holtz Ephemera. And that will be so cute. There we go. Do I want that? I might want that stippled at the bottom too. <clears throat> I also have this little tiny, um, it's from a embroidery floss. You see that? And um, I thought that would make a really cute little tab somewhere. Anywhere. Let's put it with this um, thread uh, spool thingy. That's, that's cute. And then it'll just peek out, you know, when it's closed, it'll peek out. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about that I love. I love color, but I also like vintagey things. I need scissors. I'm looking for scissors. Here we go. Okay, this is, so I ordered business cards from Vistaprint, and this is my one of my paintings, and I had that as the front of my business card, and this is like the little sample card that they put in the front of the box, and of course I wasn't about to waste that, <laughs> so... I thought, oh, I'm going to save that and put it in my itty bitty journal. So I think I'm actually going to trim it pretty close to the original. And that's what I just love about whatever you call it, junk journaling, art journaling. Um, I find that people in out in the real world, I was gonna say in the real world, but you know, in the general population, most of them have never heard of junk journaling. Cause that, you know, people that say, oh, what do you do? I say, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. um, it took me a long time to get to the point where I could say that, but um, now I say it and mean it. <laughs> and They're like, so then the next question, of course, is, oh, well, what kind of art do you do? And so I tend to say I make journals and I'm a mixed media artist. And they'll be like, oh, journals, that's interesting. You know, tell me about that. And I'm like, well, okay, have you ever heard of junk journals? No. Like, nobody 
ever has heard of junk journals. So let's see. I'm just trying to figure out okay how close the staple goes here because I want to make sure that I get the whole thing. That's that's fun. I'm gonna put a staple in her head, but that's okay. Um, maybe a little touch of glue behind her to hold her down. I like that though. I like it. I like it like that. What was I saying now? I think I, I went off on a squirrel trail talking about people not knowing what junk journals are. Um, oh, because I, I just, that's what I love about these, though, that you can just take fun little things and um, add them in and make little pieces of art out of everything. Like, everything is art. Okay, I have these little tiny words, so maybe... Never stop exploring would be cute. Journey, not all who wander. I was thinking to put something across that staple and then also down below here to kind of tie it together and also cover up the staple. Um, so I'm gonna do not all who wander are lost. Do you guys ever, do you know about geocaching? I haven't done geocaching for years. Uh, when we lived in Washington, we, we used to do a lot of geocaching. But when I came to Arizona, it kind of lost its appeal because I didn't want to be sticking my hands in any little <laughs> holes, you know, like there's scorpions and rattlesnakes and whatnot here that tarantulas yeah no no nope, not a fan so anyway I haven't done that much here but when we did geocaching there was that was kind of a saying that was like not all who wander are lost some are geocaching <laughs> mm, that was fun fun times I don't know that that really goes there very well. Um, I think, well, it's fine. Don't overthink it, Ricky. Don't overthink it. Okay, but that's not going to fit all the way there. Um, well, this is always the danger of arting on camera, isn't it? Like, I would do this and you nobody would know. I'd just show you the finished product and you'd be like, wow, she's magic. Now the truth is revealed. <laughs> I'm not magic. I drive the struggle bus the whole time. You know what? That's okay. I'm fine with being the struggle bus driver. Not all who wander. I'm going to cover up my little words there because I think that will fit there. And it's kind of busy with all the words, so. <clears throat> my favorite geocache when we lived in Washington was actually not that far from our house. We lived, we lived right, like, not even a mile from the ocean in the very close to the um, rainforest up there and so yeah there was this one that was down an old logging trail and there was probably seven or eight geocaches down there so you just kept hiking further and further back on this old logging trail and following this trail of geocaches and it was so interesting because I would have never walked back on this trail like if 
you know, if there wasn't a geocache down there, I just would have not ever known it existed or anything. And there was like a uh, old train bridge back there. And I mean, it was just so beautiful and peaceful. It was cold and rainy. And I remember we brought a thermos of soup. And when we got back to the car, oh my gosh, that soup tasted so good. And then we drove right after that, like right after we had our soup at the car, we drove to Olympia and bought new hiking shoes because <laughs> our feet were so cold and wet. Uh, it was fun though. It was a good memory. I really miss doing stuff like that here in Arizona is not... We just don't. We just don't do a lot of outdoor stuff. Partly because of the aforementioned critters. I'm just not a fan. Um, there. Oh, I really like that. We did a page. See? I love this no-stress approach to doing art journaling. Just put some stuff in. And who knows? You might complete a page. Now what do I want to do? I've got this little picture too. I think this is a Tim Holtz ephemera piece, but I, I think they're adorable. But I don't know where I want to put them yet. They would go on this page. They surely would. Or on the back. That would be cute. Let's put them on the back. Let's do it. I'm going to trim that down too. Um. As I think I mentioned before that we are hoping to move within a year, probably, hopefully, <laughs> or at least buy a piece of property to fix up. <clears throat> and then maybe over the course of the summer, work on it and then be here in Arizona another winter and then full time move after the winter. I don't know for sure. We don't know. We're, we're waiting and seeing. I want something behind this. Um, do I want... I've got all these little scraps. Oh, a little cheesecloth. Coffee dyed cheesecloth would be cool. Um, but we've been, we've been watching the weather <clears throat> for the Midwest and I mean we both both my husband and I grew up in the Midwest and uh, so we're no strangers to the winters there however we've lived here in Arizona for mm, almost eight years and we lived in Washington before that we lived in Washington State for I think seven years um which is pretty temperate climate, really. I mean, it's it's just kind of, it's not warm, but it's not cold, it's not freezing. It's just rainy and cold. So we're not really accustomed to the cold anymore. And I've been watching the weather and yet it's so it's like, you know, below zero there and here, it's, uh, oh, I like that. Here, it's like we've been getting down in the 30s at night. And my husband and I are both just, like, shivering. And I'm like, how are we going to acclimate to the Midwest again? It's a little concerning. <laughs> Especially as we get older. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We don't have our hearts set on any one particular place right now, but I would like to be closer to my mom. So there's that. All right, that is stinking cute, but I think I wanna use tacky glue there so that, well, actually this will work. We'll use the Barely Arts glue. We'll just put it on a little thicker so that hopefully it reaches down through the cheesecloth and adheres to the back. <clears throat> All right, 
He's so cute. There we go. So I really should have paid attention to what time it was. I need to get a little timer here. I could not believe the last video went 45 minutes. I was like stunned. Um, but I did really want to hop on here and get my Patreon shout outs done because they were building up and I, I feel bad if people have to wait too long for that. Um, so yeah, Friday is my big shop restock. Um, I'm pretty much planning to do shop restocks four times a year now, quarterly. I think that's what's going to work best for me. And um, so yeah, so this, this February 3rd, Friday, February 3rd at 7 a.m. Arizona time is my big shop restock. And then I think May, August, and November are, are my potential next dates. So yeah, that's my plan. All right, what else do we want to do? I feel like we should put down a little bit of collage since we've got, and we haven't done any of that yet today. Where is my, oh, there it is. Where's my smaller than a dollar? You guys, if you saw the messes I got going in here right now, you would shake your head at me. I'm telling you what. I am just needing to get my act together a little bit. Um, let's get out the matte medium. I was just telling my friend Nina that I think I'm going to need to get like one of those big wall calendars so I can keep track of the things that I need to do and when I when I need to do them. I really previously have not been that person, but I'm feeling it. This is some vintage ledger, and of course, I wasn't about to squander any of it. So where did it, where was I gonna work? Right here. So yeah. Right below the twenty. Um, so yeah, my need to get organized is getting real. I'm 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 making it so far, but um, as is a custom, I am driving the struggle bus. Still driving the struggle bus. So that's kind of cute. Oh yeah, that's this. I'm like I'm trying to get that wrinkle out. No, that's the staple, honey. That's gonna stay there. Okay, maybe a little piece of sewing paper. Oh, that's right, somebody asked me about sewing paper and where she could get some. I, I just have a plethora of it, so I don't ever think about that because I use it for packing orders and, um, but she lives in another country, so. I will need to get on and answer that question for her. Although I don't exactly know what to tell her other than just ordering an old pattern, I guess, off of Etsy or eBay would work. That's kind of kind of nice, makes a nice neutral background. What do you think? We'll figure out something else to go there. All right, if we wanna do Hmm. Maybe I should just do a little something here too. Um, that's kind of cute. And I also meant to put some of that sewing paper in my ephemera kits, but I forgot. It's funny when I'm packing the ephemera kits, I'm just really, you know, walking around my space, looking at what I want to put in there. And, and they're 80 piece kits and, well, I say 80 plus pieces. <laughs> I like get to like 
85, 86 pieces and I'm like, Ricky, you gotta quit. <laughs> That's enough. You gotta quit. Oh, but one more thing. Yeah. So then, sorry, I got my paintbrush in my mouth because I didn't want to set it down while I cut this. Um, but then, um, I have a bin that I'll just start for my next, uh, next time <clears throat> I pack ephemera kits. So then, you know, by the time I go to pack ephemera kits again, it, a couple months have passed, right? So, um... I trying to say so anyway I can look in that bin and go oh yeah I was gonna add some of this that's what I'm trying to say sorry guys sometimes it's hard for me to talk and art at the same time <laughs> which you know I think if I keep practicing I'll get better at it but and I do apologize if I'm quiet. I know a couple people have commented that my videos are quieter than other people's and I keep forgetting to speak louder. Um, <clears throat> so I'll work on that. <laughs> but I am just kind of naturally a soft speaker and so it's hard for me to to raise my voice it just doesn't come natural to me all right yep I think that can go there I love old dictionaries so much I literally cannot go to a bookstore and see an old dictionary and not adopt it. Like I just, I love, I've probably sold 10 of them in my bookstore and I just keep, I if I see them, I gotta grab them because I'm just afraid people will toss them because they don't have a use for them anymore, which makes me sad. All right. Because people Google everything now, but, you know, I'm still old school. Okay, that's not true. I will still ask Siri how to spell something, but I still want the dictionaries for crafting. <laughs> Let's not make it sound like I go look stuff up, because I don't. But I am fascinated. Um, when I'm doing my ephemera kits, I'm always using um, old dictionaries. I pull from about... 10 different old dictionaries and I'm always looking at the words and kind of just in awe of how many you know different different words that that are there that we don't even use anymore so it's interesting Hey Birdie, I had a thought. I'm gonna to talk to Birdie for a second because I bet she's watching. Have you ever showed in your videos your goats? Because I love goats and I would love to see your goats. And maybe you have in like an older video and I just haven't gotten back that far, but I was curious. And I was thinking that would be a good video for you to do, show us your goats. Um, my friend Nina sent me a video of this baby goat jumping around and I was like, it's so cute. I was like, I would die because it, I mean, it was tiny. It was like this big and they're just so stinking adorable. Um, my daughter and I, uh, a couple years ago, we drove up to Gilbert, Arizona and did goat yoga and it was so fun. I mean, yeah, I wasn't there for the yoga. I was just there for the goats. But, you know, you do the thing. 
Um, I don't think anybody was there for the yoga, but <laughs> we all tried. But um, I told I told Nina, we you know, if there's such a thing as goat yoga, there should be art with a goat, because I would totally sign up for that. Like to just go <laughs> hang out with baby goats or adult goats, like and art. I think that would be so much fun. Anybody else want to do that? Anybody want to start that business so I can just come and hang out with your goats? And I know that, Birdie, I know you don't have the little goats, but I love all goats. Honestly. I used to have goats um, for a brief period of time when we lived in Wisconsin. Um, but it just ended up being too much work uh, because they were dairy goats and my youngest daughter was a baby and it was just too much, but I loved them. Oh, I glued these two together. That's all right. Okay. So maybe I should just call that a day so everything can dry. We did get a page done. I should maybe put some words on this page so we could say we got two pages done. Let's do that. Um, I kind of like these because they're tiny and they fit. Um, so, oh, we're off to see the world. That's cute. Um, but do I want that much wordage? Go explore would be cute. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do go explore. All right, and then we'll call it a day. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. It's always enjoyable. And I'm trying to make it more of a regular practice to come back here and do this so that we can hang out and, yeah, you know, all the things. Okay. So here we go. Um, this is, we did this one today. And we added this in to this little flippy. We still got a whole spread to do here, which will be fun. And then we finished the back cover. So that wasn't too bad. And then we just added in some miscellaneous couple, couple more layers, some gesso and some um, collage here. And we added that little tab and a little bit of collage there. Coolio, all right, 38 minutes. Yeah, I did it again. Apparently I like listening to myself talk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested, I don't want to be pushy, but um, it is fun to see uh, new subscribers. So have a great day, everybody, and I'll catch you next time.